When she married into the royal family, Kate Middleton, 41, became well known for always carrying a clutch bag rather than a handbag. In contrast to Meghan Markle, who liked handbags, a style expert who talked exclusively to the royal family, explained how the princess utilized clutch bags as a shield. Kate Middleton owns an enormous assortment of clutches from companies including Mulberry, Emmy London, and a spinel of London. On the other hand, the late Queen Elizabeth, who even had a royal warrant, was a huge fan of Lawner London handbags. The owner of Modes and More, Susie Nelson, gave an exclusive interview to the royal family to discuss the Princess of Wales' preference for clutch purses. According to Susie, Kate reportedly decided to wear a clutch purse when she first became a princess in order to prevent unwanted handshakes. According to royal custom, you shouldn't extend your hand to a member of the royal family unless they first do so. Over time, she came to understand that a grin should be sufficient for people she doesn't have time to shake hands with. The late queen would change the position of her purses, which were always lawner and had a top handle, to signal to her staff when it was time to leave. The Duchess of Sussex was regularly pictured with top handle purses after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were married in 2018. Following this, Kate started carrying purses considerably more regularly, as as late as her December 2022 royal visit to Boston. Susie speculated as to the possible cause of this incident saying, I do think Kate maybe thought she needed to boost her game with both clothes and handbags for a more professional, cosmopolitan look when Meghan arrived. She cannot shop like an oligarch, accept presents from shops, designers, or stylists, or wear black during the day besides at funerals. There are royal limits and laws. She must also think about how the ensemble will be regarded by people outside of the fashion industry. After clothing is designed to be cared for and worn more than once, her body shape hasn't changed significantly after having the three kids, and she can still fit into clothes from years ago. Susie examined the reasons for the prince's preference for purses with handles while visiting America. I believe the move to top handle bags may have several factors, she said. Due to Kate's increasing self-assurance, she no longer requires a clutch bag as protection. A clutch bag is timeless but might look out of date. Top handle handbags are more trendy and young, and they also make it simpler to get items out of them. When doing official tasks, Kate avoids using a shoulder bag since they cause clothing to wrinkle. She also cannot take the chance that the strap will get tangled up in a brooch or fastener. She occasionally used crossbody bags, but without the long strap, she can choose from a vast assortment of bags as a result of the handbag industry's phenomenal rise. Which of Kate's purses could be her favorites, Susie said. I don't think Kate has a favorite purse. Her bags usually represent her sense of style. She can wear them with a number of outfits because they are understated, stylish, and simple to carry. They also have minimal adornment. Her bags come from a variety of vendors, including Aspinall, Hobbs, Mulberry, L.K. Bennett, Jeeger, and Demelier. She is rumored to own multiple Aspinall of London Midi Mayfair handbags, which retail for about £500, and Mulberry Amberley satchels, which cost about £900. Not cheap, but also not too so. What the Princess of Wales might have in her handbag was suggested by Susie. She asserted, I think Kate would bring only her basics because the bags she carries are pretty compact and she needs to be able to retrieve things quickly. Lip balm, a handkerchief, a compact, and a mirror were considered important. There is undoubtedly a lady waiting to carry additional items. The late queen carried a fountain pen, family photos, reading glasses, lipstick, and money for church in her slightly larger handbag.